Artificial intelligence is expected to change the battlefield landscape for the UK, its allies and adversaries. Robots are not as affected by radiation as the human body. In a suspected nuclear or biological or chemical or radiological context, one can think about deploying autonomous robots to help, uh, for instance, measure the level of radiation or retrieve uh, casualties or uh, move in different types of assistance to uh, troops that might be caught life-saving uh, equipment. The AI revolution has come hand in hand with the growing military application of drones and could advance swarming capabilities for artificially intelligent vehicles. So does that mean ships of any size could essentially become carriers? Yes, that is possible. Um, and we're very close to, to being able to do that today. But that would also mean that you would have to get significantly closer to your adversary because a lot of these smaller platforms won't have the range that larger platforms have today. The ability to deploy AI in the future will take us from being able to use, say, 5% of the satellite-based data imagery we have and we're able to generate today to uh, a significantly more uh, into the 70s and 80s, 80% 80 at least. Our armed forces today are able to exploit under 30% of the total volume of data that they collect on the battlefield. The deployment of AI will be able to double and triple that in the next decade. You might have an AI that sits in the background and analyzes the whole um, scenario and the interaction of uh, the participants in the simulation, and it can actually give um, feedback, real-time feedback. And it can, for instance, alert if a command violates international law and tell you exactly which piece of international or national law that command violates, the exact doctrinal and tactical uh, recommendations of any kind of nation. But do we really want to start deploying um, these types of software and these types of machine and coordinating roles for over humans? We think that there is an assumption within most of the literature that we have seen on human machine teaming, which is driven by the fact that human relational um, dynamics would drive human machine teaming dynamics. And that might not necessarily be true. Understanding how human and software and uh, robots interact on the battlefield, particularly in high risk situations um, such as conflict, I think that that is definitely worth a lot more research because we're not quite there yet. In the cyber domain, it's thought dormant AI agents could sit in defense networks triggered by specific security events. These types of technologies can help us tremendously. AI-enabled autonomy in cyber is definitely able to transform the cyber domain, cyber defense and cyber offense in the short term. Uh, as much as in the longer term. AI is a very powerful technology that, if deployed right, can be a tremendous help to the human. But it's also a very imperfect technology that requires constant and it requires significant human control. Tom Sables, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.